This is the issue that Nappit have, okay? And again, handsome chap did a podcast on this, okay? And some other videos and got absolutely battered for it. Right, so I have three SPDs, okay? This one, as many of you will have uh, recognized, it's a, it's a wonderful piece of equipment from uh, your favorite consumer manufacturer, Navitas, okay? This SPD is fitted with a what? Uh, um, GDT. No, 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 that's what's in it. What's it fitted with in our boards? Come on, you saw Oh, me. an MCB. Sorry. Right, so it <laughs> comes with a 32 amp MCB, mm. okay? And now within this, okay, what they're talking about with this integral protection and blah, blah, blah that they're all talking about is what me and Kirsty talked about when we said there are based on BSEN standards, which are manufacturing standards, squat all to do with wiring uh, standards, which is BS7671, which is the regulation that the NAPA assessor there has quoted, yeah. they have to come with a fail safe. That fail safe is a solder joint. So when this melts out here, okay, so when this burns out, this will melt. So when that melts there, that re basically removes itself, that pushes that little green flag forward. Now your indicator goes red letting you know this SPD is dead. So there is no overcurrent protection within that. That is a fail safe solder joint, and that's what we were talking about. Again, nothing about that forms part of overcurrent protection within the device, which they've confirmed in that email, because they're essentially saying we're relying on the DNO fuse, okay? Mm -hmm. So the, the only bit of overcurrent protection with these devices is the DNO fuse, because they are not connected to an MCB. Performance-wise, structurally, they are exactly the same as the devices that were previously fitted with an MCB.